There are bad movies, and then there are outright disasters, like Chris Pine's unfortunate directorial debut, Pool Man. It's not often that a movie forces me to cross the divide from disliking it to resenting its very existence, but this one does it. This deeply unfunny, Big Lebowski for dumbasses wouldn't be so bad if it were directed by anyone other than Chris Pine because it's because of Pine that it exists at all. Any other filmmaker who did something this dull and yet so ignorant of what might entertain an audience would never get past the pitch meeting. Pine, who gets to eat all of the blame since he co-wrote the script and took the lead role as Darren Barrowman, Baron Man, a misfit pool man at a shabby Los Angeles apartment complex. He's got the intellect and the vocabulary of a child. Pine probably thought draping himself with a thick, scruffy beard would count as transformative, like Nicole Kidman plastering on a big nose or something. It's unclear what we're supposed to like about Darren, but like him is what we are expected to do. The guy's entire life seems to be making mountains out of molehills, while missing the point of everything. He frequents city council meetings to whine about transportation, Chats incessantly about chickens. Writes daily letters to Aaron Brockovich for some reason. I, I don't get it. And the lack of Julia Roberts is no bueno in my opinion. Oh, and he has sex with his distant girlfriend, played by Jennifer Jason Lee, who openly pines for an ex-lover. I kind of felt bad for Jennifer Jason Lee here. So Darren's a total dope. We're supposed to see him almost in the same way we do Jeff Bridges' the dude in The Big Lebowski, but it's not even close. Oh, and the two people who own the apartment, they're played by Annette Benning and Danny DeVito, and I think we're meant to think they're playing Darren's parents? It's tough to tell, and Pine seems to think that ambiguity is endearing. Where's my shrug emoji when I need it? The plot, such as it is, involves a great water conspiracy. LA is in a drought and somebody is stealing water. This is like your neighbor washing his car with a hose during the dry season. Does that sound interesting to you? Me neither. Not that any of this goes anywhere. There's also something involving a government official played by Stephen Tobolowsky that Darren keeps harassing and a femme fatale played by Dewanda Wise who is so much better than this and trying hard to just power through. You can, like, see it in her face. Pine and co-writer Ian Gottler really want you to know they were influenced by Chinatown when they made Pool Man. They practically write it out in crayon, then bash you over the head with the Crayola box. When an actual scene from the classic crime flick pops up, you kind of wish everything else was some boring nightmare and you just woke up to watch the real thing. But no... Pool Man sludges on with Pine sucking up all the oxygen from every scene. Look, I know it's his movie, but Pine affords none of his talented cast a moment to shine. Actually, they all are either underused, like DeVito and Benning, or horribly written to the point of humiliation, which is pretty much everyone else. Pine seems obsessed with jokes that only he gets and thinks are funny. What's, like, what's the whole deal with the origami? Why does it keep coming up? And if you told me the test audience for Pool Man was Pine and a cardboard cutout of Captain Kirk from J.J. Abrams' Star Trek movies, I'd totally believe it. Coincidentally, a cardboard cutout of Kirk would have more personality than Darren Barrowman and twice the appeal. It's just such a charmless performance by Pine and a far cry from the likable, Sly scoundrel he played in Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I still think that's his best role. In short, Pool Man is a vanity project that never should have happened. Somebody should have stepped in and steered Pine away from this before it got too far. I'll give him some credit on the way out though. He shoots it in 35mm and it looks great. So at least those who soldier through the 100 excruciating minutes will have something nice to look at. Pool Man is in theaters now, and it gets a 2 out of 5. Thanks for checking out the show. If you like what we're laying down, please subscribe to our channel. 
and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.